timeline to celebrate the Eirth Centenary from 1922 to 2022 called Stathli Ardusky and it's been created by um, a team of teachers and language specialists with activities which are PDFs or they are PowerPoints which are editable to suit the needs of the children in your class. Uh, my name is Sarah Rogers and I'm a teacher at Holton Primary School and lead for Welsh Language and Culture. Once you go on to Hub and you can type in, in the search bar Dathli Ardeski, you get um, a timeline which you can either click on the dates at the bottom if you're looking at a specific date or a specific activity if you've looked at the teacher's guide or there is an arrow to the right hand side and you can just go through chronologically and it shows you what's happening in the IRF at the time, um, in Wales at the time and across the world at the time and it gives you a sense of you know, movement through those hundred years. The activities are PDFs or um, PowerPoints. The PowerPoints are editable. So what you can do, depending on the needs of your children and obviously the age group that you're teaching at the time, you're able to um, change and use the language that the children will be finding accessible, exciting, achievable as well, so that's really important. The sentence builders, you can actually collect information or ideas from the children, for example. So some of the sentence builders have got perhaps a column missing because obviously it's waiting for ideas specific for for your class or whatever activity you're doing. So you can actually ask the children for um, ideas. You could write those words down in English and then they could use the app Gary on, on iPads and they can, choose, they can turn those words from English into Welsh. So you can actually tailor it to the, you know, the ideas of the children. So they've got ownership of the sentence builders as well. So there are lots of resources as you go through which use sentence builders which are fantastic being an English medium school to develop the children's ability to use language patterns and these activities are through a range of the AOLEs, the uh, areas of learning experience. So for example there are activities where you would use some science, so a fair test science using ski slopes and the children are able to use sentence builders through science and talk about um, you know, difference in heights of, of um, slopes. There are also activities that will enc encourage you to use Welsh through your math. So for example, there is an activity about swimming where there's lots of different um, times, swimming strokes, etc., where you can use the sentence builders to talk about fastest, slowest, average. So you've got your Welsh, but you're also using your math skills as well. Um, there's also expressive arts as well. There's um, an activity, I think, on 2003, which is Map Your Mice, where the children are looking at the fields, the different activities that go on in the um, Icethford fields, and they can design their own, which is really lovely and of course they can come up with ideas themselves there. So there's lots of activities that go through the AOLE. I've been looking at the 1944 um, Berthodin Arif lesson, which has got lots of sentence builders on there where the children have added it, their ideas to. Uh, there was also one sentence builder that was talking about colours and their representation, but that was a little bit tricky for my class. So I've just changed the word to dangos for show because the children are able to say that and then they're obviously able to achieve across the whole of the sentence builder as well. So they're fully editable. My name's Ty Golding, I'm the Executive Head Teacher at Ascol of Ride and Holton Primary School. I think from my perspective across both schools as the head, it's important to work with Rith, uh, really get an understanding of what they can offer around supporting Welsh language development, uh, but also particularly around uh, wider aspects as well, around sort of performance, uh, around creativity, around sport. Uh, we use and are involved in the Rith importantly for visits and visitors as well and taking advantage of the residential opportunities. I think for me it's really important to have that assurity on the quality of resources that my staff can access and that they can use to develop learning. And what's really beneficial is how we've seen the era that evolve over time to include English medium schools. And that's particularly important considering uh, the depth and the expectations now around Welsh language with regards to curriculum for Wales uh, and those expectations around moving towards 2050. Dwi'n hoffyr gwers bathodyn achos mine and hygoel. I've enjoyed learning about the Earth Badge and talking about the colours.